Richardson in the victory that goes behind for the goal kick. But some excellent play there on the right by Duncan Shearer. Yeah, and some great play just before that as well, being Jess, a player that's had an, an very press, a very impressive afternoon. But I think um, I think Duncan Shearer probably just dwelled a little bit there on his cross because Pakalainen had made a terrific run to the near post, but he just took that one touch too many. And a long kick from Gorham. Shearer's in there again with uh, Robertson, and the ball goes Aberdeen's way. Good turn there by Scott Booth, but again the pace of uh, Robertson proving quite crucial for Rangers. He got back well there and uh, made a very good tackle indeed. So the throw in to Aberdeen and uh, Patalainen, the long throw expert. Alec McLeish has uh, moved onto the six yard line. And it's aimed in his direction too far though. It's headed away by McPherson and uh, is Ian Ferguson getting the further touch. This is Stephen Wright running into trouble. It's Alexa Mikhailichenko. He needs some support here. He does well to hold on to possession. So three minutes of this first half of extra time to go as Durant clips it forward. It's cut out though by Stephen Wright. Mikhailichenko left his foot in there and he's injured the Aberdeen player. Well, play going on. Uh, Stephen Wright still on the ground. Well, this is uh, Richardson, and he spotted uh, that uh, his teammate is injured, and he knocks the ball out of play. Well, it happened there in a clash with uh, Alexei Mikhailichenko. I don't think there's any question it was a foul, but um, do you hope we play on because um, it was to Aberdeen's advantage? But. Um, as we've mentioned, since both substitutes have been used, it's crucial that neither side have any more players go off the field. So well, Hamden Park, uh, with this crowd of 45,298, witnessing all the drama of extra time. Now these sides have uh, provided us with uh, some classics over the years in uh, 1987, 1988 and 1989. But uh, happily for Aberdeen, Stephen Wright uh, appears to have recovered. Of course, uh, both substitutes have been used uh, by both sides, so he'll just really have to get on with it. So McLeish now, a long one forward, it's headed down by John Brown, cut by David Robertson. A long one aimed at Ali McCoy, but the offside flag had gone up. With, uh, McCoy and uh, Haitley had strayed forward. Gary Smith with a free kick. And that was a crucial challenge there by David McPherson on Scott Booth. So we're inside the final minute of this first half of extra time. Well, Scott Booth uh, has taken a bit of a knock, but uh, he's back on his feet. And while play continues with Rangers in possession, that's McCall playing it through to McCoy. And he's fouled there by Alec McLeish. McLeish is furious, it's quickly taken up to Ian Durant. Mikhailichenko's in there, it's swept away by Stephen Wright. Well, Rangers took that free kick while Alec McLeish was still complaining bitterly about the decision, and Aberdeen almost paid the price there. It was uh, Durant who just flicked it into the path of Mikhailichenko, and Stephen Wright reacted really well. So Rangers have it again. It's Durant. Nice little turn by Durant. McCoyce was in there. And it's a goal kick. So McCoyce uh, feels he perhaps uh, should have done better there. So it's the 15 minutes up as the referee checks his watch and looks over towards the linesman. And there goes the whistle. So still one goal apiece here at Hamden Park. Walter Smith there, looking rather anxious, but uh, we're now prepared for the final 15 minutes of the dramas which have been unfolding here at the National Stadium. Both sides will be given a minute or two to get themselves sorted out. 
I think uh, full credit to Rangers because in uh, that first period of extra time they've looked every bit as fresh as what have, uh, uh, as Aberdeen. But there's really there's nothing in this game at all, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this go to penalty kicks now. So it was McCall for Rangers after 13 minutes, Shearer for Aberdeen after 62 minutes, and now it's Rangers who get this final part of the match underway. Immediately it's played through in the direction of McCoy East. Cut by Lee Richardson. For Aberdeen there. And it's Robertson who's had an excellent game attacking the ball well. But, uh, Hately losing out. Gary Smith playing it forward. It's through now to Ian Durant for Rangers. One of these surging runs of his looking for McCoy East. But again Aberdeen stand firm. Again it was uh, Gary Smith. Rangers pushing forward now. And the person shot uh, well wide of target. Uh, Rangers showing plenty of determination. Uh, Walter Smith uh, looks as if he's out for a Sunday afternoon stroll. But uh, I'm quite sure the nerves are jangling. This is the one trophy that he's still to win as a manager. trying to lift the team through these final stages. Akhaila Chenko running into trouble, he was lost out there to Brian Grant. This is Ian Jess, and he's tackled there by David Robertson, the throw-in goes Aberdeen's way. And Jess in no particular hurry here. Richardson playing it to Grant. Grant through to Patalainen. Promptly gives it away, but it breaks through the offside flag. The offside flag had been up there against Scott Booth. But, uh, the flag was uh, raised immediately. Yeah, I don't think Andy Gordon was taking any chances, whether it was offside or not. And Scott Booth just goes in in front of the defender here, just a touch offside. Still a good save by Andy Gore and very alert goalkeeping. Well, Scott Booth, uh, you can see he's still limping. He took a knock towards the end of the first period of extra time. But with both sides committing the substitutes during the 90 minutes, they have to get on with it. Here comes uh, Shearer. And he loses out to John Brown. Well, still one goal apiece here. Gordon playing it through, looking for Hately. Well, Hately does well to beat in possession. It's promptly given away. Picked up now by Gary Smith. Brian Grant sending it forward. And McPherson's in there, just ahead of Booth. This is McCall. Well, there's so many tired players out there now. It could be just one mistake that uh, decides this 47th League Cup final. Both of these sides uh, played in the very first final back in 1947. The game won 4-0 by Rangers, but uh, a much tighter affair here this afternoon. There's Mikhailichenko playing it to McCoy East. And it's swept behind by David Winnie for the corner. So a nice close play there by Rangers. And David McPherson and John Brown will uh, move forward for the corner kick. David Robertson stays back there with uh, McCall to keep an eye on Booth. So that's Ian Durant with the corner. Durant again. Onto his left foot. Headed away there by Patalainen, back helping in defence. Picked up now by Ian Ferguson. McPherson to McCall. This is Robertson floating it forward. McCoy's getting a little touch. And uh, Alec McLeish got in just ahead of Hitley. Call for Rangers to Brown, who's quickly closed down. Dale Gordon 
And Rangers content to knock it about. This is uh, Ian Durant. Oh, just uh, taking on too much there, Ian Durant. Now a chance for Aberdeen to counter-attack. It's Ian Jess. Challenged out by McCall and Ferguson, but uh, Jess doing well. This is uh, Brian Grant. Stepping away from Michaela Chenko. Through it goes to Shira. Well, they had two players in the middle, but uh, he decided to have a blast at goal. Yeah, I think he'd have been far better off here squaring this one across the, the goal. I mean, it was a great strike for his goal in the first half, but, I mean, that, was, that one was a little bit on the ambitious side. Uh, you can see him apologising to his teammates there. You know, Patalainen and Ruth were well forward. So, 20 minutes of uh, extra time gone, still one goal apiece. Oh, a good ball forward for Hatley to chase. He's in there with Gary Smith. A oh, real tussle going on there, and uh, Hatley is being called over by the referee. The two players got entangled. Yeah, I don't think there's any question here. A little bit of a tangle here. Matt Hatley tries to rip the shot off Gary Smith, and that was uh, well, that was a, that was a nasty foul by Matt Hatley, and a well-deserved booking. But Gary Smith is, is a young player that has played with so much composure in the heart of the Aberdeen defence. I'm quite sure Willie Miller, his manager, is delighted with him. And he might be a player that could fill that Willie Miller role for many years to come for Aberdeen. Well, just uh, 21 years of age and inheriting, as you say, Willie Miller's uh, number six jersey. But uh, there have been, uh, it's not been a dirty game, but there have been one or two nasty incidents in it. Uh, there was one involving Dale Gordon and uh, Mark Hatley just losing the place completely here. I think Mark Hatley nearly inherited Willie Miller's old jersey there. But, uh, the youngster uh, seems none the worse uh, after the tussle. He had an excellent semi-final, of course, against Celtic here at the National Stadium. So four bookings this afternoon, Gordon and Hatley of Rangers, uh, Richardson and Snelders of Aberdeen. Durant now picking up the play for Rangers. He finds McCoist. It's Durant again. And Dale Gordon just keeping that one in play, and uh, he gets the throw one out of it. So we're now midway through the second period of extra time. Still one goal apiece. John Brown breaking forward from defence. Now it's Durant. Brown's in there again! Oh, what terrific running by John Brown. But uh, the final effort going wide of target. Great run forward by John Brown. Knocks a little ball in here at Durant. Terrific little chip, finds John Brown again. Oh, that was, that was a great chance for Rangers to seal this game. Lovely little ball in by Durant. Looks up. But oh, comes off John Brown's shin way behind the goal. Great opportunity for Rangers to probably snatch the lead and probably the skull cut. Well, it's a second chance that's uh, fallen to John Brown this afternoon. Both have gone wide of target. But uh, he's certainly earned terrific commitment, as you would expect. This is Ian Jess now, trying to take on Robertson. Still Jess, getting in the cross and well handled by... Andy Gorham, he did well to get in that uh, cross, Ian Jess. It's uh, not easy to get away from David Robertson in that type of situation. But, uh, here's McCall now for Rangers to Durant. Robertson's breaking in the left. He fires in the cross, Hitley's in there, and the ball's in the back of the net! Well, Robertson's cross went right across the... Defence and land in the back of the net. Walter Smith is absolutely delighted. It's Rangers 2, Aberdeen 1. The Robertson cross comes in here just off the top of Gary Smith's head and in for an OG here. Good ball in, teasing cross. Oh, that was a tragedy for the Aberdeen defence. Ball comes in. Okay. So just lucky for the youngster. Yeah, well, Jerry, we've just been mentioning what a terrific game he's been having, showed tremendous composure throughout, and a terrible thing like that happened. So unfortunate for the youngster. 
Well, his first cup final at Hamden. Meanwhile, uh, Alec McLeish is on the ground. Well, it looked as though Hitley would be the main danger there. It was David Robertson with a terrific run and cross. Hitley certainly caused some panic in the Aberdeen defence. And the ball just taking the merest flick off the defender's head. Meanwhile, Alec McLeish in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, it's a cruel, cruel game, as you mentioned. Gary Smith, such a terrific match, then scores a dramatic own goal. Well, I wonder what he thinks at the moment. You really can't attach any blame to him. He eh? was just so unlucky. It was such an awkward cross. Hitley was coming in beside him. So Aberdeen with it all to do again, and they've got less than uh, five minutes to react to that body blow. So really, two bizarre goals that Aberdeen have lost this afternoon. The first uh, caused by the pass-back situation, and the second, an own goal. There's a certain irony that Aberdeen have scored the best goal of the match, but uh, they're now trailing by two goals to one. The final minutes ticking away, Patalainen's in there, battling. And Andy Gorham has it safely for Rangers. Well, it'll take a tremendous now effort now for Aberdeen to claw their way back into this game, because Alec McLeish has pulled his hamstring, and he's virtually a passenger there, the Aberdeen back four. And that's been the injury which uh, has haunted Alec McLeish for some time now. Of course, such a lot at stake this afternoon because uh, victory not only brings the cup, but it brings an automatic place in Europe. And uh, for the first time in 16 seasons, this particular year, Aberdeen haven't been on the European stage. And this is certainly a cruel blow for them. So Rangers 2, Aberdeen 1. And uh, just over 12 minutes have gone in the second period of extra time, just under three minutes left. So the high one there from Gorham. It's played to Alec McLeish, and he's really toiling there. Well, Aberdeen lost Roy Aiken early in the game, then... Uh, Rangers lost Richard Goff and with so many games having been played already this season the players are being forced to come into games like this when they're not maybe 100% and uh, when a game is played at this type of pace obviously uh, these injuries will become more and more apparent well, we really are asking too much of our players these days to, to compete at this level and play so many games and really when people look back in this final a lot of it uh, will be looked uh, upon because of, uh, because of injuries, because of stress. So, Rangers win the throw-in with just under two minutes left. Walter Smith there, just telling his players to keep it tight. Well, it will take a huge effort from Aberdeen now to get themselves even into the penalty shootout situation. Rangers with plenty of experience, They're just trying to batten down the hatches. There's a long ball they played through to Hatley. And Gary Smith losing out to Dale Gordon. Ian Durant running in support. And can Rangers finish it off with some style? There's McCall, and challenged all the way by Scott Booth. He finds Dale Gordon. So a minute left. Rangers giving the ball away to Patalainen. Played through now for Shearer, but John Brown's in there, and he concedes the corner kick. Well, perhaps a last chance for Aberdeen to do something here. Uh, Billy Miller is unhappy now. Well, I think he's every right to be unhappy, because obviously Dougie Hopes now gave a, an offside decision against Aberdeen, but it was a good through ball for Patalainen, and Shearer, for me, was still onside when he made the run forward. And the referee certainly pointed out towards the corner flag, but uh, he saw the linesman signal. And 
Ball played through now for Hatley. Smith's with him all the way. Good defending by Gary Smith, but there'll be no controlling him tonight. Yeah, well, I don't think he's got anything to be ashamed of today. Just very unfortunate to lose that own goal. And for me, he's been one of the star performers at Hamden here this afternoon. Now the referee checking his watch and looking at towards the linesman. William Miller looking on disconsolately. I remember when Alec Ferguson took over at Aberdeen, uh, his first final was against Rangers and he lost it, but he went on to, to gain many honours with the club and uh, Willie Miller has uh, certainly years ahead of him as a manager. He'll learn from this experience this afternoon, but his team very unlucky indeed in the manner in which uh, they lost the killer goal. So we're now into time being added on, the referee again looking out towards his linesman. And there goes the final whistle. Rangers win the Scottish League Cup for the 18th time in their history, for the 8th time in the last 12 years. Jubilation among the players and supporters. You'll be back for the Cup presentation. Rejoin us after the break. Back to Hamden Park. There are the victors of the afternoon, Rangers, having won the Skull League Cup. And for Ali McCoy, uh, a great afternoon. Ali McCoy, it was, who skippered the uh, Rangers throughout the closing stages, and uh, he picks up his seventh winner's medal this afternoon to equal the record of Davy Cooper, uh, who's here with us at Hamden this afternoon. So the Rangers players taking the salute of their supporters, and uh, it's apt to you know that Rangers have such a, a good record in this League Cup competition. It was suggested, after all, by a Rangers director, James Bowie, way back in 1939, and uh, they have dominated it uh, over the years, especially in recent times. It's a terrific record, eight wins in the last 12 years, Gordon. Yeah, it is a terrific record, and some great Rangers performances. David Roberts there on the pitch, I thought, was absolutely immense at left back. David McPherson maybe now beginning to win the Rangers fans over after a sticky time. Well, Ken McRobb is down there now with Stuart McCall. Well, congratulations, Stuart. A victory in the Skull Cup final. Yeah, and uh, fully deserved, I thought. Well, obviously, we've had a um, hard game in midweek against Leeds. And going into extra time, probably people didn't fancy us. But the character of the lads were tremendous. It was, you know, we were going forward all the time and had a lot of chances. I thought it was a smashing game again. Credit to Aberdeen for putting up a good performance, but I thought we fully deserved it. And a goal for yourself, a bonus. Aye, amazing, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, delighted with that, you know, but um, I think we'll uh, have a get his legs up tonight and a, a wee sing song and a enjoy yourself. Although we've got a lot of important games to come, lads will uh, thoroughly deserve this and we're looking forward to enjoying ourselves. Well done, Stuart. Cheers, Thanks thank very you. much. Oh, and Jim White in the studio. Thanks, Ken. Well, Rangers winner, two goals to one. Unfortunate, though. So unfortunate, Charlie, for Smith. Yeah, I thought he was playing. He had a great game. Uh, McCoy, he kept fairly quiet. He had an excellent game and unfortunately he's just got a deflection off a cross which was kind of wasn't really going anywhere to be honest. It's very unfortunate, very unlucky time for Aberdeen. You took Rangers to win it, Davy, and you were right. Would you say they were worthy winners on the day? Yeah, I think so. It's obviously, it's a bad way to win uh, the cup like that with a deflected goal. But in the second half, I think out of the two teams, you always uh, thought that Rangers were more likely to score, and that's the way it turned out in the end. Who, who would you say were the key men then for Walter Smith today, Davy? I think Ian Durant again was outstanding. I think uh, as the game went on, he became stronger all the time and began to run the game. Uh, very, very good uh, performance by him. And Stuart McCall was very good at the back. Willie Miller will have learnt a lot today, I think, Charlie. First time as a manager at Hamden, but uh, what can he take out of it? I think he can get uh, a lot of credit out of this. You know, I think his team perform performed particularly well at times. He had Rangers in a, a lot of strange positions. So uh, I think he'll got a lot. I hope I'm a lot happier anyway with this team. They've, they've come through it. A lot of young, youngsters will stand up a good step for the future anyway. Yeah, great, great sight at the end, I thought, Charlie. The Aberdeen supporters standing the ground and applauding their side. Yeah, well, that's right, because they battled their way back in it. For a spell, we thought maybe Rangers were going to win 2 or 3 nothing. But they came back and the Aberdeen uh, supporters have responded. Thanks, Charlie. Jerry, cup presentation. And uh, Richard Goff, who had to go off because of injury, leading his man forward. Accepting the Skull Cup there from Mr John McKenzie, the managing director of our breweries. And Richard Goff for the second time as captain lifts the cup aloft. Andy Gorham there celebrating as well. Richard Goff now picking up the League Cup itself. 
and jubilation among the Rangers players and uh, that's a place in uh, Europe guaranteed next season but uh, Ken McRobb uh, will be having a word shortly with Walter Smith meanwhile the celebrations go on among the Rangers players Dale Gordon the substitute there picking up a medal well he didn't think he'd be involved today but uh, because of various injuries especially to Peter Houstra allowed him to come in David Robertson there who had a marvellous game and it was his cross that led to the winning goal and another very solid performance from Ian Ferguson who's right back to his best form and there's uh, one man who'll enjoy celebrations tonight Ian Durant who has come back to top form Trevor Stephen another man who had to go off this afternoon Rangers of course will be worried about these injuries as they build up to the game against Leeds United but uh, there's Stuart McCall now, the goal scorer. Let's go back now to Jim White in the studio. Thanks, Jay. Well, it's been some afternoon. Uh, I think we've enjoyed it, have we not, Charlie? I enjoyed the game. I, th I thought it was a great game. It wasn't a classic as the past has been, but it's hard to live up to the games of the past. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. It was tough to live up to the ones from the past, maybe, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Not as many goals, obviously, as the three each and the three two, but uh, the second half livened up and a very good, very good match. OK, well, that's about it for this afternoon. Rangers are the new score cup holders after goals from Stuart McCall and an own goal by Gary Smith. Some friends of ours out there, Charlie. But Thanks. before we go, a result from Scotland's World Cup group, Malta nil, Estonia nil. But here at Hamden, the celebrations are still going on. In the meantime, from Davy Cooper, from Charlie Nicholas and myself, goodbye to you.